Dear all, welcome to my channel Naveen Velchuri. In today's video, I am going to design a fully added circuit by using a logic gates. So a fully added circuit contains three inputs A, B, C and it provides the two output values, one is sum and another is carry. So if you observe the truth table of a fully added circuit, for the combination of three inputs, we are getting eight combinational inputs. For each and every combination, we will get the sum and carry output values either 0 or 1 depending upon the input combinations. Uh, as we know, when 1 plus 1 is added in the binary addition, 1 plus 1 is, uh, gives as the... Now that fully auto circuit, I am going to design by using a DSCH tool. Now I am taking a DSCH tool to design that I have to elect a 3 input XR gate. So that's why I have selected uh, from the advanced uh, symbols, I have selected a, a 3 input XR gate. For that, I have to connect 3 inputs. That's why I'm taking the uh, 3 uh, button pins. Each and every pin will be labeled with different variables A, B and C. So I am changing the labels of input values. now. All are connected together with a metal line. A is connected with A and B is connected with B and C in is connected with C, carry input. Now from that you will get the sum output value. For that sum output value I have taken one LED and I am naming as an sum, SUM sum. So it gives the sum output value. But to get the carry output value we require AND gates as per our circuit which was designed by simplifying with a K map all the combinations of the inputs. So here I require the three AND gates and for each and every AND gate I am showing the terminal values and also the name of that particular symbol. Now you have to make the connections as per the logic. So actually we will get the output value as AB plus BC plus AC in. So I am connecting one AND gate in between the A and B terminals. And one more is with B and C in terminal. As per the logic, I am connecting. And third, AND gate, we are getting with A and C terminal. So I am taking uh, the extension of A terminal. And that will be connected another input with the C terminal. And the outputs of individual AND gates, all are collected through an OR gate circuit. So I am taking an OR gate. Here R also I require a 3 input gate. That's why I have taken a 3 input R gate. Now I am combining or connecting all these 3 inputs with the output of 3 AND gates. From that you have to take in carry output value. To observe the carry output value I have taken an LED and that is connected with the output of R gate. Now I am labeling that second output value as carry out. Now this is the representation of a fully adder circuit by using logic gates. After that save your circuit. Before going to save your circuit you have to select the design technology 45 nanometer technology I am designing and then save your circuit with your required name and it will be saved with an extension of .sch file because it is a schematic file. I am uh, assigning the name as an adder with an logic gates. And then generate an Verilog file for your designed circuit. In this Verilog code and hierarchy netlist all are available. Here if you observe the hierarchy value, how many number of gates 
uh, you are using uh, how many number of terminal lines you are using all will be available at there and you have to generate an logic symbol for your design that will be done by use the uh, new schema symbol in that the file which you are saving will be saved with an extension of dot svm file symbol file then uh, verify the operation go with an you know, simulate option and run the logic simulation after that extract your truth table then you will get the fully added circuit operation which will generate the sum and carry output value by using echonograms you can verify the waveform representations so these are generated for the truth table which was generated at the time of simulation in this way we can verify the operation of a fully ordered circuit so here i have designed and simulated a fully ordered circuit with the help of logic gates thank you for watching